One of the oldest mines is located in one of the remote areas of the line. There are several, and some of the engines have worked these areas their entire lives, including Baxter, a little tank engine that is almost 100 years old. The miners know Baxter very well, and many have worked with him their entire lives. He spends his days moving loads of coal from the precarious coal mines to the big yard. As the years passed, the loads were heavier, and the workload that comprised of small wagons had become massive hoppers and gondolas filled with coal. In his younger days, the work was easier, but in this day and age, Baxter struggled dreadfully. However, not only gritty, but quite stubborn, he continued to work in the mines. There he would often see bigger engines like Kicksass bringing loads of coal to where they were needed. Baxter arrived in the mines one morning, feeling exhausted. He could see there was a line of cars waiting for him. He saw Kicksass resting alongside, sizzling happily. Hey, old Baxter, the foreman wants you to take the first run today. I'll take up the rest later, said Kicksass. Blasted freight cars, muttered Baxter. I wasn't built for this kind of workload. One day I'm gonna bust. Kicksass said nothing more and watched Baxter pull his train up the grade and out on the branch line. He struggled and pulled all the way to the yard. He arrived safely and left the train for one of the main line engines to take it away. After some switching in the mines all evening, he returned to his shed. Tomorrow's another hard day, said his driver. Be sure to have a nice rest. Screw that, snarled Baxter. This same old team will be the death of me. The next morning, Baxter prepared for the day's work. But his driver was surprised that Kicksass wasn't at the mine. There was a long load of cars waiting to be taken out. Kicksass has been asked to take a special goods train, said the foreman. So you'll have to take the load with yours, Baxter. There's no way I can handle a load this long, thundered Baxter. This is preposterous. The foreman argued with him, and so did his driver, but he was so incredibly stubborn. Eventually, Baxter gave up arguing, mostly so they would shut up. He coupled on and prepared to haul the train backwards. The train started slowly, and as Baxter headed up the grade, his wheels began to slip, rolling precariously in place. The tension on his front was unbearable. Baxter fumed angrily, and before his driver could shut off steam and go for another try, Baxter shot backward, and his coupler snapped open. The heavy tension was too much. The long load of cars sped down the mine yard and back into the mountain, but they derailed, and one by one fell into the abyss. Almost an entire load of coal was lost. The foreman was furious, and so was Baxter, who was blind to the destruction he had caused. The miners were now aware that old Baxter could not handle the workload they had pushed on him. And as the men gazed at the cars crushed below, they wondered what future the coal mine had in store.